We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what we have here from Kajan's Fiery Foods, it is the Firehouse. Woo woo yeah. Hot sauce. And we have some different accolades here, so on and so forth. Our ingredient panel. Oh boy. Here we go. So we've got vinegar, cayenne peppers, sorry, cayenne mash, which includes a number of things, garlic powder, sugar, cayenne again, uh, salt, black pepper, granulated garlic. We have vegetable mix, which is uh, kind of an interesting thing to throw in there. Uh, habanero powder, red hatch chili powder, xanthan gum, lemon extract. So, let's have us a little look here. Trying to figure out where this sauce fits into things is uh, kind of a trick. We'll get into that more in a bit here, but uh, you see we've got sort of red-orangey color. Lots of bits and flecks of things in there, black pepper and so on. It's pretty sauce. It strikes me as more towards a Cajun cayenne coloration, but uh, I think it looks good. It's a really good looking sauce. So let's get into the flavor. So, in the written review for this one, which is available in the description down below, I likened it to a product called McCormick's Red Hot. I don't know if that's still around anymore, but Red Hot was something I used a lot of, but it was very sort of bittery pepper, like peppercorn flavoration. So you'd have, I always have to put it with something. And this one, I think, I don't know if they reformulate or, or what, but it, it seems like it's shifted somewhat from that. Because now we have, we still have that aspect, but we also have sort of a lemon pepper aspect to it. With the cayenne base and the vegetable mix, it, it sort of rounds it out, but it's, it's kind of odd. So I don't know if this is meant to be a cayenne or, or Cajun or maybe its own thing, because it, it does have a number of things that you wouldn't normally find in either of those two. Uh, very intriguing, but I like it with things. I don't like it just like the Red Hot. I don't like it by itself or when it's the main flavor. Obviously, I'm not eating spoonfuls of any sauce generally uh, outside of being on camera for these. But uh, this one, some sauces work better when they're the star. This one definitely works better when it can be integrated into something. So, I happen to... Do some grilling and you can check out I do a lot of community posts uh, about different things but I've been trying for 2023 to get a lot more of the pictures of when I'm grilling stuff uh, on the um, on the community posts so just trying to I guess enhance things a little bit supplement the blog and supplement the uh, the FOH video series. But anyway, so we have a nice grilled, this is just a salt and pepper chicken thigh. 
and we'll just use this as a dipping sauce. A lot, it is better, like I said, so you can get it, if you can get it with some food that needs integration, uh, macaroni and cheese, for instance, although it, it can be a bit strange actually, the cream sauce is because of, of the lemon. That's why I said I'm not entirely sure what he was going for here. Because like lemon and mac and cheese is odd. Lovely. Okay. It does work pretty well with grilled meats overall. You get some weird um, sort of flavor dimensions here though because there's so much stuff in the sauce. I think since this company was bought by United Distributors well a while ago now but that website I don't love because I, I don't think it's meant for the general public, but I would like to see stuff like, you know, pairings and things like that. And I really, in fact, most of the time on that website, I don't even see ingredients, which is a bit on the frustrating side. Yeah, I mean, it's solid. Probably wouldn't be the first sauce I'd read for, but... I mean, it's certainly not bad either. There's cayenne, lemon pepper is... It strikes me as a really odd mix. Heat-wise, it's pretty low, just like the normal Cajun cayenne sauces. It does have a little bit of a tingle to it, which is, I guess, a little bit, it will put it on the in the upper tiers of those styles of sauce, I think. There is a bit of punch there from the habanero and whatnot, but it's just, it still is kind of a, I mean, it strikes me as a little bit different than when I wrote the written review for it, but it's sort of like a sauce that, to me, doesn't have an obvious place. So I, I just, uh, I, I wish we could kind of figure out, half the fun is trying to pair stuff with it, but this has a lot of contrasting stuff. Like lemon is, is I think you have to be really careful using lemon. Because lemon can really narrow your field of what stuff is going to be good on. Like, you, you could attempt this on pizza, I suppose. But with the lemon in there, I, I don't know if citrus and pizza are, are a good match, per se. So, uh, for me, it, I, I find that it is it works well um, with those cream sauces. Because usually it'll tamp down that lemon side of things enough that it won't become overbearing, but you still get the sort of the sort of vinegary cut the sort of vinegary cut through the richness that you'd want from a cayenne sauce or a Cajun sauce. So it works their best, I think, but to me this just doesn't strike me where it needs to go. They rated it three of these little campfire things, which I think I gave it a two. It's kind of interesting that they so sometimes label ratings are nowhere near. Sometimes you come in half. I, you could even make the case at one and a half. But I, th I think this has got enough bitiness to it. I think it's going to test non chili heads somewhat. Not to any great extent, but I think there is enough, a little bit of a bitey to it to, uh, 
to definitely give some of them pause anyway. It's not like it's a three where it's kind of like the make or break. Uh, this one falls well short of that, but like I said, it is it is a bit punchier than a lot of the uh, a lot of the other entries into this line that are out there that I've had anyway. So uh, very interesting concoction, but like I said, I'm just I never gonna quite know where this one fits, and that hasn't changed in the time since I did the written review. So. But another pretty solid sauce from, from Kajon is definitely worth uh, trying out. And if you like lemon in sauces more than I do, or is a flavoring a little more than I do, then I use it pretty sparingly with stuff like lemon pepper shrimp, lemon pepper chicken. Uh, lemon pepper shrimp will be really good with this. Chicken strips and shrimp, the fried, you know, fried shrimp, those are actually pretty okay with this. Fish, I think, is actually pretty okay with this also. So... There is some uses for it. It just it it doesn't strike the right notes, I guess, with me that I hope a sauce would when I use the sauce. And I guess we'll just kind of leave it there. So there it is, the Kajan's Firehouse Hot Sauce. Number four. In peace. To serve the flame.